To this discussion think that compatibilism is a third option like it's kind of libertarian freedom and it's kind of determinism no it's determinism it's all determinism the thing is what compatibilism says is look what more do you want jerry walls famously says this i know you've had him on the show he says look what more do you want um you're, you can do whatever you want but what is under the table is your wants are determined by your or your actions are determined by those wants but those wants are determined by a causal history that you have no control over that ultimately goes back to God. And so as a result of that, what that means is God is determining everything, meticulous providence or meticulous determinism. Now, it doesn't take too many people very long thinking about that to think, well, hold on. The Bible seems to be a story of choice. It seems strongly to give the impression that I could have done otherwise. I commit these sins. I do these wrong things. Some people are doing horrendous acts of evil on a mass scale. But if Calvinism is true, God is determining all of those things. So it seems to cause problems for, uh, for God. So my goal in my response to this video is to prove that choice, choice in light of the doctrines of grace does not disprove Calvinism while at the same time making the sinner responsible in their active choice when it comes to salvation. So the question is, can man choose God? And the answer is no, we cannot. John 15, 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you may go and bear fruit. Now, nonetheless, man still made an active choice, which means he has an active role in salvation in which God is chief. Now, before I begin, what we need to understand about those who hold to the false doctrines of Arminianism is that their desire is to rob God of his ultimate glory, and that is his sovereignty, okay? Now, they won't say that is true, okay? They won't say it, they won't admit it, but the majority of them do, and the truth is the majority of them don't even realize that's what they're doing, okay? At the heart of their fight against Calvinism is a desire to save God, to save God. It never fails. You ask enough questions and eventually the idea of Calvinism making God the bad guy is at the heart of their defense. Now, does a believer have free will? That's the question. And I wanna point this out. For you to be free in this definition, the decisive cause it must literally be your will, your will, not anyone else's, and that includes God. For someone to say that they are free and that their will is their own, they are essentially saying they are God. Now, this is a question that I would ask any free willer. When you get to heaven, if God asks you, what is the deepest, decisive reason you believed on my son, what will your answer be? Will you say, the decisive reason for my choice was your grace, or will you say, the decisive reason for my choice was me? You see the problem in that? Okay. We need to understand that we are so morally corrupt that we can't do good. We can't believe. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not, it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. It cannot. Romans 8, verses 6 through 7. When the sinner repents, it is God that grants that repentance, Acts eleven eighteen. but the sinner still made an active choice. Okay. Another question to the free willers, when, you're, when your will chose, what was the decisive in bringing that willing about? What was the decisive influence or the decisive cause? And the Bible answers, it was God's grace. Armenians and free willers say, your own power of self-determination, and that is wrong. Calvinism does not make God a monster. It proves that God is sovereign over all things. And with that being said, we will be held responsible for the active choice we made or didn't make in regards to our own repentance and faith. God is sovereign and man is responsible, and that's something we have to deal with.